This is the solution to written homework 27. So part A, the formula for total money flow is integral 0 to big T, f of little t, d little t. And on this particular exercise, that means integral 0 to 8, because it says 8 years, of 50t dt. <clears throat> so that is 25t squared evaluated from 0 to 8. It's nice that we have a 0, so it's just 25 times 8 squared, which is 1600. This represents that over the course of eight years we expect to get a net sixteen hundred dollars uh, from the money flow. Part B, the present value of the money flow. The formula for this is integral zero to big T, f of t exponential negative rt dt. And the present value of the money flow represents how much money it would, uh, it would take right now deposited into an account at an interest rate of r for, th for that deposit right now to be $1,600 at the end of eight years. So on this particular exercise, that's 0 to 8, and then 50t exponential negative 0.06t dt. So we would like to use the fundamental theorem, uh, but this product is messing us up. So this product can't be fixed by an algebraic manipulation, and it cannot be fixed with a substitution. So the only way to proceed is with, uh, by parts. So we'll call this factor, that factor is algebraic. This factor is exponential. And using the lay an egg <laughs> rule from lecture, that tells us that u is 50t and dv is automatically everything else exponential negative 0.06t dt the right hand side of biparts has four symbols in it here are two of them the other two are du is 50 dt and then v is exponential negative 0.06t divided by negative 0.06. Making that um, these substitutions, then it, the right hand side of by parts is uv evaluated from 0 to 8 minus integral 0 to 8 of vdu. So then that will be that will be 50t multiplied by exponential negative 0.06t divide by negative 0.06t evaluated from 0 to 8 minus integral 0 to 8 vdu so that's exponential negative 0.06t divide by negative 0.06 and then multiplied by 50 dt <coughs> ah, this t is extra that t shouldn't be there okay <coughs> 
So now I'll spend this negative to switch the order of evaluation and get 50 divided by 0 0.06 and then t exponential negative 0 0.06 t from 8 to 0 <clears throat> I'll combine I'll combine the constants and use the negative to make this addition so that's plus 50 over 0 0.06 integral 0 to 8 exponential negative 0 0.06 t dt <coughs> So evaluating this, it's nice that there's a zero because that t will make that whole term zero. So then it'll be 50 over 0 0.06 multiplied by zero minus eight times exponential of negative 0 0.48 and then plus <coughs> 50 over 0 0.06 and then exponential negative 0 0.006t over negative 0 0.06 from 0 to 8. <coughs> so simplifying this a little bit, uh, that's negative 8 times that one, say, so that's 4 100 over 0 0.06 negative and then exponential negative 0 0.48 I'll spend this negative to switch the order of evaluation and factor this uh, 0 0.06 over here to get plus 50 over 0 0.06 squared and then exponential negative 0.06t evaluated from 8 to 0. So this would be negative 400 over 0 0.06 exponential negative 0 0.48 plus 50 over 0 0.06 squared and then 1 minus exponential negative 0 0.48. And that's about as good as it gets before plugging it into the machine. So that's negative 400 over 0 0.06 times exponential negative 0.48 plus 50 divided by 0 0.06 squared times 1 minus exponential negative 0.48. And the machine is reporting <coughs> 1169.45. And so that number is less than 1600. So that makes sense, this, this about $1,200. About $1,200 is how much this money flow is worth uh, right now. So then C now, the accumulated amount, the answer, the formula is E to R big T integral zero to big T f of t exponential negative rt dt and that looks bad but that notice that this integral part is exactly uh, what we did uh, in part b so the answer really is just exponential of 0 0.06 multiplied by 8 
RT, R big T, multiplied by the previous answer. And so the previous answer, unrounded, is 452502. At least that's all of the digits my calculator is displaying. And typing that into the machine. Answer is one eight eight nine point nine two. And this represents if we were taking the money flow and at every point, at every instant, we were putting the revenue from the money flow into a six percent account. So this money is the uh, this amount is the highest of them all. And that's the answer to the exercise.